What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Low Knows. I am Low, where we go over audio, video, tech tips, and also where I like to share my voiceover experiences with you as well. Okay, so this is four out of five in our series of microphones that are connected to Avalon 737 SP, the Shure SM7B. Uh, Michael Jackson's microphone that it used on the famous album Thriller, and also the Dark Knights himself's microphone, if this were on his tool belt. Where's my mic? Oh. Okay, so the Shure SM7B. I actually got this microphone for broad, no, podcasting purposes. I was I was doing a, a podcast. Uh, wait, what? If you ever want to check it out on YouTube. Um, plug. And I got a, this for, for particularly broadcasting because I needed the noise rejection uh, for doing a podcasting. I didn't want my voice bouncing off walls and stuff. It wasn't. I wasn't really doing it in a highly treated environment. So I got this microphone. This microphone normally, well, today costs about $3.99 regular going price. I actually got this on sale for like three fifty. So woo. Uh heads up to me. Alright, so connected to the Avalon 737 SP. Now guys, if you're wondering uh, well let me go back. This is a dynamic microphone. It is not a condenser microphone. Um meaning that you're not gonna get the full richness of a sound that you will get from a condenser microphone. You get have a you're gonna get a bit of a little more of a dully sound because of the dynamic microphone. And this microphone does require a lot of power. Now, let me go back to the Avalon 737. If you were ever wondering how this microphone would handle with this, I will tell you right off the bat, the Avalon does not uh, does not apply enough power to power this microphone. This microphone is a power-hungry or a gain-hungry, gain-hungry microphone. I connected this microphone directly to the Avalon. Now, remember, since it's a dynamic microphone, you do not use the phantom power. Otherwise, you'll blow out your microphone. And I maxed out my preamp to max. I maxed out my output to... to the max and my high gain was on and the levels on this coming from this microphone were barely enough to be even you know worth anything so what i had to do is i had to use my cloud lifter right here uh and the four, 48 volts coming from whatever device you have actually powers this device and it adds 20 decibels of clean gain to this so you can power your microphone so if you're ever considering getting this microphone make sure to get one of these or get a preamp that is provides enough gain to power this microphone properly. All right, so let us start our doohickey whatchamalala bobbers, uh, this microphone on this Avalon. We, If you checked out other videos, we did the the Norman TLM 49, the Rode NT1A, and the Audio-Technica 4040. Now we're up to this. All right, so um, everything is turned off. Our high gain is the only thing turned on. And let us start from the beginning. And now we'll engage the preamp. And right here, you actually see how the preamp, the tubes in a preamp actually start giving this a nice little sound. Um, this microphone, it being a kind of like a dull sounding microphone. Um, the the tubes, that's not a tube on a dynamic microphone, crazy. Um, actually make it sound pretty good. Now, here's the thing. I've got it all the way maxed up. And this actually sounds pretty good. But the preamp, the tube, we are maxing it out. We are stressing it out right now. Um, so whether that's going to kind of shorten the life of the tubes within your preamp, that is something that you may want to consider. All right, so we will leave it right here. Actually, I, I would have to go back and forth and kind of play with it. I can play between the preamp and I can play within the output, the, the main output of my of my preamp. So I may I could probably leave my my main output max, and I can actually back off on the preamp. Um, so I can find little comfortable levels. I, I feel comfortable with it with this sounding just like this. Let's go ahead and engage our compressor. Um, right there, and this is how it sounds when we actually start engaging the compressor. Now, this being a dynamic microphone, you really don't need a compressor too much. Maybe for a little kind of a a certain sound you're looking for, but as I'm using this, you, you barely hear a difference with this microphone when I'm in great engaging the compressor. So I feel like the compressor with this microphone should be used sparingly and not too aggressively because of how the microphone is uh, uh, made to kind of tame loud vocals. So you actually kind of scream in this thing, put this thing in your mouth like, oh. <coughs> yeah. All right. So uh, I, I'm just going to leave it at three because that's what I'm normally used to uh, right there. Actually, no, let me just kind of leave it very much because I don't want I don't want to compress the single that much. I don't want to flatten it out for you guys. All right. Uh, once again, attack and release. We're not miking drums. So this is these settings are just fine for vocals. Our high pass, we will out here. This is with a high pass off. Now, this was a high pass on. And this is a high pass off. Very little difference. Remember, on the back of the 737SP, you have like a, a variety of switches where you can actually um, uh, drop um, drop the low end, increase the high end, and vice versa. 
That's a pretty uh, good choice for a microphone. All right, now let's go ahead and engage our equalizer. Ah. All right, and let's go. Let's throw some more bass on this microphone as if it doesn't sound bassy enough. All right, so this is with the bass. You know, ooh, look at, look at that. Man, this is really sounding kind of broadcasty radio. I can back off. And the low mid, yeah, the low mids. This is how it sounds like. The low mids going all the way low, and now I'm taking it out. All right, so, man, you know, going the opposite way, it really doesn't sound like much is happening. All right, so the high mids, and we are in addition. Okay, so I would probably, me personally, I'd probably add a little more of the high mids uh, to this sound so I can get rid of the muddiness, the dull, dullness of this microphone because that's just the characteristics of the microphone. And the treble will add a little treble, and I really do like the sound, but you don't want to go too much. You start getting that kind of hissy sound. Kind of hissy, you add too much trouble, you start introducing uh, some noise in particular. So I'll back off. Now let me try to find something, maybe like a nice little setting where I feel like make this microphone sound sounds good. Uh, I'm going to roll off the, the bass because I feel like it's a little too bassy. I'm going to roll off just a little bit, and I'm going to start engaging the, the treble because I want to start getting a little clearer. And maybe the, the low mids, um, do I want to make, I mean, the low mids is kind of making a little fuller sound. And no, I think I'm going to back off. I, I want a little more clarity in my voice for this particular um, example. And let me a little more add a little high mids. All right, that may be a little much, but I'm going to settle right there. Kind of maybe right, maybe right here. And now I'm, I'm kind of like this. My, my voice is just a little, it's a little bit clearer um, within this setup. Not going to touch the parametric, parametric EQ because, like I said before in my previous videos, I do not know how to use it. But that is it, guys. That is the short sm7b connected to the avalon to the avalon 737 sp uh and let's go ahead let's let's turn off our equalizer there we go this is we're turning off the compressor and now this is our preamp um would you want to get a 2500 dollars preamp for this microphone i would say doubt it i i wouldn't make the investment if i want to pair a preamp to this microphone probably not I actually hear that the, the DBX286A is a great compressor preamp to connect to this microphone with, and it actually provides enough gain to power this. And, and it's only like 200 and something, it's like, yeah, $200. Uh, so that's something I would like to actually check out and kind of do with this. So if anyone would like to send me one, kind of review it and kind of connect to these microphones, feel free. I am not stopping you. All right. And that is it for the Shure 7, Shure SM7. All right, guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you love the video, feel free to subscribe. Let me know what you think about the microphone, the SM7B connected to the Avalon. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And also check me out on my social medias, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, low nose, sort of. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video.